Hello, Gaskelly here. Today, I'm going to show you the new featured location, Deep Space. But before we get into it, if you're a new viewer, don't forget to slap the like button real hard and sub to the channel for free for more awesome Marvel's and content. Now, let's begin. Deep Space. Card text is disabled here. Well, that actually looks like one of the cards, Sauron. On review, remove the abilities from all ongoing cards in your hand and deck. But of course, with the location Deep Space, all card text is disabled. So, well, the first deck we recommend is, obviously, a Sauron deck. Because there are a lot of cards here that we want to silence. Yep, we don't want all that ongoing text that, oh, your other cards have minus one power. Enemy cards at this location have plus one power. Now nah, you don't want that. So, well, you put Sauron in the deck, but hey, what if you don't draw your Sauron? Then, well, maybe Deep Space is a great place for you. Yep, um, usually you want to play Sauron on three, and then just go from there. Play your Typhoid Mary, your Resco, and um, you're on easy street, because there's going to be a ton of huge power without the drawback. That is the main thing we're going on here with Resco and, of course, Typhoid Mary. Okay, one thing about the stack is um, you really want to set up your early game. Like, throw down a Nabula or go for a Zero into Abony Maw. Well, that could gain you a ton of power for initiative early on. And, of course, Daredevil is just so great. Because it gives you valuable information on your opponent's turn 5 play. And you know what? Sometimes if you can know exactly where they're going to play, then you can lock them down with Spider-Man, winning you the game instantly. Yep, the lane control is so important here, and it's so great in the meta right now. I've been crushing people with a ton of Spider-Man plays. Okay, Lizard is just great. Because, you know, they have to play awful cards there to give you minus 4 power. But if you play it into deep space, well, there's no drawback. It's simply a 2-5, which is great. And of course, we got Enchantress here to shut on going down. Because, you know, maybe they're gonna have something really creepy like a no. Yeah, you wanna shut that thing down instantly. Or maybe Patriot decks, which we are going to get into a little later. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is just great as a power spread, but be careful. Do not play it into deep space because, you know, it's going to get silenced and nothing's going to happen. And finally, Chaffetz is here just to make the deck more consistent. Okay, okay. Now, onward to the second deck. The second deck I recommend is, obviously, a Patriot deck. Well, when you play the cards there, they are going to eliminate the text. Which, you know, kind of reminds me of um, the good old Patriot effect. Simply because, you know, your cards with no abilities have plus two power. And with those card text wiped, then, you know, cards are going to be able to be bought by Patriot. So if you get say, random cards from random locations, then you can just slap them down. And then, I mean, slap them down into deep space. And then Patriot is going to do work and buff all of them. Okay, so, well, a Patriot deck is pretty simple to pilot. You want to flood your board with no ability cards, like Squirrel Girl, obviously. So, well, the good thing about Patriot in deep space is um, you don't have to fear playing stuff into deep space. Yeah, maybe you're gonna say, oh, I play my Ultron there and nothing's gonna happen. Or I play my Blue Marvel there and the ongoing effect is gone. But the thing is, you got two other locations. Just play your stuff like Blue Marvel into the other locations and slap your no ability cards into deep space. And you'll be just fine. So with Patriot deck, you have a lot less constraints because you can play freely into deep space without having to worry about your ports and stuff getting silenced. So this is why it is so good in deep space. Okay, back to what I was saying. You want to flood your board early on with stuff like Squirrel Girl, Misty Knight, Shocker, 
And then, to fill the board with the grate, I mean, it not only blocks their side, but it also gives you two rocks for Patriot to buff. And that's just awesome. Since we've got a ton of 1 plus cards with Squirrel Girl, Ray, etc., Bazaar is pretty good here to buff all 1 cost cards. Got a thing here, another no ability card you can just slap into deep space and not worry about it. It's just awesome. And finally, we buff our stuff with Blue Marvel and then a turn 6 big Ultron, boom! Easy win. So, your dream combo in this deck, I would say. It's going for Patriot, into Mystique, into Blue Marvel, and then finally an Ultron to top things off. So, whoop, you put all of them, whoop, not in the deep space location. You put it in any other location, just stack these up, whoop, and your Ultron is going to go to town. Fill your other lanes with four of these drones, and bam. You just win the game because you have... Um, 6 power drones, which is 24 power. Yep, 24 power per lane is not easy to deal with. But of course, if you're stacking Hatred and Mystique and even Blue Marvel in the same location, you gotta be very, very careful of one card. Yeah, that's the one that we mentioned earlier. Enchantress. It just shuts you down because you stack up all your ongoing. So, whoop. If they got Enchantress, you gotta play smart just split your patriot and mystique in different locations to save yourself okay now moving on to the final deck recommendation it's gonna be a sentry deck i mean this sentry deck is tailor-made for deep space it's just so good because there are a lot of things that you want to play with very high adverse effects like sentry himself you can't play this at the right location. On review, add a minus 10 power void to the right location. So, well, it is kind of a bit of a gamble. Because if Deep Space is the right location, then you cannot just play Sentry there and get silenced. Yeah, if, but, well, on the flip side, if uh, Deep Space is on the left or in the middle, then you can just play Sentry and it's going to get silenced. No minus 10 for you. And it's simply a 410, which is extremely good. So there you go. Take the gamble, a 410, boom. And of course, Atuma. If you have another card here at the end of the turn, destroy this. I mean, yes, it's another 410, which is great. But if you have anything there, it just gets destroyed. Usually you want to protect him with something like an armor. But hey, with deep space, you can just throw down a Tuma anytime. And it's not going to be a problem at all. That is why this deck would run really well in deep space as the new featured location. So, the other combos would be like Cosmo and then put the Destroyer into the same lane so it does not destroy everything. But hey, if one reveals do not trigger, you can just play Destroyer. And call it a day. A 615. Really, really huge power push that your opponents cannot easily deal with. So there you go, guys. Um, if you just play your destroyer into deep space, they can't even shang chi you because you know our reviews don't trigger. There you go, guys. This I mean these are three decks that I recommend for the new location deep space. I mean it's sort of fun, but um I think it's a little bit too constrained, disabling all the attacks. Uh, I don't really know if it's a good location or not, but hey, we're going to have some fun with it when it just got released. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to sub for free and stay tuned for more awesome Marvel Star content, especially for you guys that have just arrived at the channel. And don't forget to check out my different guides on Kitty Pride, Galactus, Thanos, Nebula, all the great stuff. Now have a great day guys, and peace out.